So by now you've probably already heard of the Apple AirPods Max. The company's first over-ear noise cancelling headphones hit the headlines quite recently and caught attention thanks to that quite expensive price tag and also the carrying case that came with them. So in this video, we're gonna show you what comes in the box and how easy they are to set up with your iPhone. Now, don't forget, if you do like this video, please do hit that thumbs up and subscribe to catch more of our videos. It really does help us a lot. Now, the packaging is sort of classic Apple. It's a simple white box with a picture of the product on the outside. There are no bits of tape holding it together. Instead, there's a plastic film over the entire thing with an easy pull tab to get it off. Now under the lid, the first thing you get to is the headphones themselves. They're in that case that everyone on the internet seems to be talking about. You also get a few little booklets with a quick start guide and tips in it, plus the usual warranty and other information. Apart from that, the only thing you get is a Type-C to lightning cable for charging the headphones. There's no 3.5mm jack equipped cable for listening to wired music. That's something you have to buy separately. Now onto the headphones and despite shipping in that protective case, Apple also applied a thin protective layer to the smart case that needs removing as well. Once that's removed, we can take a look at the headphones themselves, which as you can almost see just from looking at them, have some weight to them. By over-ear standards, they are heavy. And that's primarily because they're made from a metal and not plastic like a lot of the competition. The cans have this rounded pebble-shaped, almost rectangle design to them, and that means they fit a bit more naturally around your ears than they would if they were completely round. Now this particular pair is the blue model, which has a dark blue headband and a cooler blue metal finish on the cans. And one feature we quite like is how simple it is to remove the padding if you need to. Those cushions just simply pull off. There's not lots in the way of buttons and ports. You essentially get two buttons. One is a big version of the digital crown you get on the Apple Watch, which you can rotate to adjust the volume. And the other button is one you press when you want to change the noise cancelling mode. Now the headband has this quite unusual design featuring a mesh suspended between two rods. Now what's quite interesting is the way the headphone cups rotate and move on this ball joint. It's not something you typically find on headphones and allows really free movement. Once on your head, adjusting them is smooth and easy, offering enough resistance to stop them from sliding of their own accord, but giving you enough give that it's easy to move them up and down. And setting them up is just as easy as any other AirPod or Beats product of recent years. You just switch them on, put them near your iPhone, and a little pop-up window will appear on your screen. It takes you through some of the basic functions, including setting up spatial audio, which is one of Apple's new features. Now we'll have a full review on Pocket Lint very soon, where we'll dive deeper into the sound quality and the noise cancelling and all the other advanced sensor stuff that Apple has packed into these headphones. But for now, I've been Cam. I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. You can follow me there. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you do like our videos. And I'll see you again in the next one.